Hello guys, Odds and Ends RC here. Today we're going to give this Red Cat Gen 8 a new life. I had recently got it on trade and I'm going to make it my own. Uh, everybody's entitled to do their crawler their own way. It's one of the great things about this hobby. So I'm going to kind of go a different direction with this thing and see what I can do with it. As you can see, it is lifted crazy high. It's probably got some 100 to 110 millimeter shocks on it. It's got some huge tires on it. It's probably got 10 foot of body lift. <laughs> um, it just, it's kind of too tippy for my taste when you raise something that high. It's just not, uh, doesn't side hill as good and doesn't perform as good in my opinion. Um, it's got this Intigy light bar on it. I'll probably be taking that off. This front bumper, I don't really care for. We'll probably try something else there. Oh, uh, let's take the... It's got the stock back bumper on it. You can see it looks like it has like two foot of body lift. <laughs> take this body off, see what we got. The Gen 8 already has portal axles on it, so there's really no need to lift them sky high. Uh, this one's got a Hobby Wing Quick Run 1080 speed controller and some kind of generic 55 turn stock motor. Uh, this thing's really slow. I mean, I like my crawlers geared down, but this thing's way too slow. I might mess with the gearing and maybe try a little. Higher turn or lower turn motor, like a 35 or something like that. Uh, we put some shorter shocks on it. Probably some 155 wheels and tires. Lowering the body way down. You can see the Gen 8 has huge shock towers on the rear. Rear. Let's see how low I can get those, or I might have to do some modifying. Uh, you see the front end. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but the shocks actually lean one way when they raise this thing. They didn't mess with the track bar. I see this a lot. When you raise one of these things, anything that has a chassis mounted servo, if you lift it or lower it, you have to change the length of the track bar to make it work. If you don't, your shocks are going to be leaning one way. It's just not going to work right, and it's going to give you bump steer and everything else. Um, you can see this thing's got a bunch of bump steer. It's not set up right. Um, looks like it's got some cheap Intig drive shafts. Hey, yeah. Uh, Kind of an overview of what I'm starting with. Let me uh, start out. I'm gonna put the. This is kind of the direction wheel and tire I want to go with. It's a, I believe it's a gearhead 155. If I can get the body lowered down enough and rearrange the suspension, I think it'll uh, look pretty good on there. But uh, yeah. Let me start to do some changes and then I'll catch you up to speed. Hang on. Alright guys, this is where we're at so far. I probably took probably took an inch and a half to lift out of it. <laughs> Between the tires, the shocks, and the body post. All added together quite a bit. Um, you can see this is the old tire compared to the ones I'm wanting to use. Getting a little, a little more happy with it. Um, I don't know, I might go down a little lower, I haven't decided yet. To do that, I'll have to do something with the shock towers, because the shock towers are pretty much up against the bottom of the bed. Um, just by putting shorter shocks on it, I got rid of most of the bump steer. 
and the body I have to adjust the track bar a little bit to get rid of the the rest of it the track bar and the steering linkage you have to adjust them too when you lift or lower or something to get it on the geometry geometry back right again oh, body off got rid of the stupid Entergy light bar that was on it. I took off the front bumper The front bumper it wasn't working out with the body. It just didn't quite look right <clears throat> You can see the I just put some axial 90 millimeter shocks on it on front and back and then uh, dropped the back Body mounts all the way down as far as they would go and the front, I'm almost all the way down with them. I think I can go one more notch further. But yeah, it's starting to like it a little more. I'd like to get the steering geometry a, a little better. And then uh, this back bumper hangs down kind of low. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. You can see it's still got a little bit of bump steer to it, so we got to get rid of that and then the servo is hitting the steering arm. We have to fix that, get everything out of a bind, but we'll do that on the next step and uh, follow up here on it in a second. Alright guys, this is our finished product here. Turned out okay. Uh, I got the body lowered down as far as I could lower it. Had to do a little suspension changing around. Uh, I had to shorten the front links to get the wheelbase right. Um, I cut a little bit off the bottom of the body. It kind of was hanging down about an inch lower than the floorboard. Uh, the gap's a lot better in the back. Not two foot of body lift on it anymore. I didn't have a front bumper that would fit on there and look right. I just left it off for now. If I keep this thing, I'll order something for it. It's not really my most favorite platform. This is the first time I've ever had a Gen 8. And I've heard they're really good crawlers right out of the box, but I kind of like more like to modify things to the scale side of things and it's just not a very good platform to to do that with but uh, let's see what we got here okay this thing has these gigantic shock hoops on it so what I had to do to get the body to sit low enough is I had to trim some off the top of it and then I modified the body post to sit down, drilled an extra hole in them to get down to sit, sit even lower down. And that's just the only way I can get that body to sit low. Uh, we got the front end sorted out. Whatever this goofy factory setup is, stupid junk. I, I just took it off. It was dumb. It was causing more problems than anything. The servo was hitting against it and you wasn't getting full suspension travel. I just found some other links I had laying around and used them. They worked out way better. Um, don't have any bump steer anymore. We got rid of that. Uh, the shocks don't lean. Got them perfect. Uh, all the drive shaft angles and everything. I got them sorted out to where they're not pointed down toward the ground. Everything's in a better spot than it was. The only thing I didn't really care for is I had to lean these back shocks a little bit. I don't like doing that. So it looks kind of weird, but to get it to sit low enough to make it a level ride height, I had to do that. But we got full suspension travel. This thing's got plenty, still got plenty of flex to it. Probably way more than it needs with these smaller tires. Uh, when a tooth bigger on the pinion gear it was way too slow it's still too slow 
I'm gonna try a 35 turn motor and see if that'd give it a little little bit of pep, but just way too s slow for my taste. Yeah, it's coming together. Like I said, it's not really the platform I like. I'll probably end up trading it off for some some other project I can make a little more scale. It's just I don't I just don't like the ginormous shock tires and these goofy frame fat frame rails and whatever this goofy plastic piece is up here it's just not one of my favorite crawlers I mean I'm sure it crawls great but it's just hard to do anything with it on the scale side of things but it'd be a good second hand second crawler to just take along or one to let somebody use, one I just don't really care about, but anyway, it just kind of shows you you can kind of make anything anything you want to. You're not stuck with somebody else's work. You can always change it and do with it what you want. I just didn't like it all jacked up and I oh, didn't want to spend any money on it whatsoever, so I just used all parts I had laying around and I didn't want to buy another body for it, so I made that Ford body work. It's kind of was hacked on a little bit the body post holes have been whittled around on and used on a couple different rigs and I just uh, did the best I could with it made it work it'll work out for just another beater crawler or something but uh, yeah that's all I got for you today please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and we'll have another one for you up soon